Good morning. We're continuing in 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse number 9. Here's what Paul says. Do you not know? He said you should probably know this. Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? The unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. Today, there are people who are living um, uh, as Christians in this, um, what we say, dispensation of grace, attending churches, <clears throat> may even be born again. But they think that because they are under grace, that they do not have to live right before God. Paul is stating the exact opposite. He's saying, do you not know it? The unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. Even an ungodly person or um, someone who is not a Christian, in the back of their minds, they know that, well, this is what I would expect of someone who says, I know God, I'm saved, I'm living for God, that they should be living an upright life. He says the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. He says, do not be deceived. So the people who are living um, in sin and saying, I'm a Christian, I am heaven bound, Jesus is my savior. He says that person is deceived. He says, look at this, neither the sexually immoral and sexual immorality usually has the list in many of these lists that Paul has or New Testament has about sins. Sexual immorality, adultery, fornication, usually heads, it's right there at the top. <clears throat> he says, neither the sexual immoral, because that seems to be the, the greatest manifestation of wickedness and unrighteousness that we have in the world, sexual sins. He says, neither the sexually immoral nor idolaters, people who worship idols, <clears throat> nor adulterers, nor men who practice homosexuality. Here the Bible, the New Testament and the Old Testament clearly states to us that homosexuality is a sin. <clears throat> and the word, or the words, there are actually two words that are used in the Greek that we have translated here as homosexuality. Paul is referring to both the active and passive partners in the homosexual act. And he's saying here, there are men who practice homosexuality. He says, none of these are going to inherit the kingdom of God. And we'll pick this up again tomorrow.